I remember I did a review of an Alfa Brera, so this is my first review, my second review of a car, which is a Mini Cooper, 2009 Mini Cooper convertible. It's not the S version, but it's got the same engine as the S version, so it's still got a bit of get up and go to it, and it handles like a freaking go car, because that's basically what it is. So if I go around this corner, just put it in sport mode, and put my foot down. And it feels like a little go-kart when you're going up. And it revs pretty high for a little small car. And I think it's, it handles better than um, most little city cars because it's made by BMW and, you know, they're driving machines and all that bullshit. So, you know, it has about 70 kilowatts, which is not really that much, but for a little car like this, it propels it forward pretty well and the only problem I have with this car is that there is no rear visibility so the owner of this car has installed a reversing camera which I'm going to have to use now since we're going to put it in reverse and this is an automatic which I would have preferred a manual but it's kind of like a manual because it's got the paddles on the steering wheel so if I slip it to the side and I go into first gear you put your foot down, change, and then it changes. So it's kind of like a manual, but not really. And you can also have it in D and then downshift with the paddles just in case you want to overtake someone who's driving a bit slow. But this car is more for like spirited drives, I reckon, not for like straight up speed. And it's got really good handling. And a lot of, it doesn't have much torque, but it's got a lot of like a bit of torque for a 1.6 litre mini engine. This car costs about 12 grand, which is about how much you would pay for a, a Mini Cooper of like 2000 to 2000 and, was it 2009 to 2015 I reckon? Yeah. Which is a decent price for a, a German little hatchback like this, because the BMWs are a bit more expensive and this is basically the same car except it's front wheel drive. And now BMW has killed off the 1 Series rear wheel drive and turned it into a front wheel drive car. So, yeah. So if you want a little German hatchback, I would recommend getting this because it's got better handling than the Fiat 500. It's better build quality than the Fiat because that's made in Poland while well, this is made in Britain. Because it's a Mini. Even though they developed it in Germany and all that, they assembled it in... Britain. There are a lot of cars on the road today. So just wait for these people to go. And there's an officer of the law. Of course there always is. So yeah, this car is it's a great starting car if you want to get into like European cars because it's cheap. And it's probably the most reliable European car you can get because BMWs is they're not known for their reliability. Like this one, they do have the same problems that most minis have with the high pressure fuel pumps, but it's not as bad as like the V12s, which is five grand to change two fuel pumps, which is just the part itself, which is not really good, but yeah. I probably think this drives better than the Alpha that I've reviewed before, but the Alpha looks better and like, looks and terms and all that so obviously this car is going for a very retro design because it's got circles everywhere it's got toggle switches which i love because it feels like you're in a bloody race car um and also it's got a big massive tachometer speedometer in the middle of the car which is uh i don't even know what you're really saying about that but it just you know it looks retro because this car is trying to be retro like the old Mini, which the old Mini was discontinued back in 2000, 2001, which was when they first released this Mini, which is the new Mini. And also this is the convertible version, which a lot of people would say the convertible version is a lot worse 
than the normal hatchback version, but I don't see any differences compared to the normal hatchback version, and I think it just handles just as good. And it has electric steering, so the steering is very light, so it's easy to drive in um, normal day-to-day -day traffic. So it's like it's a good city car, but then when you start pushing it hard a little bit, it's still it's not like you know driving a freaking high on they get, which feels like a, a pile of shit going around a corner. This feels like a like a little racing car. Like the little minis I used to race at Bathurst were like this. Like it still has that true mini characteristics. Which, which is what you want from a Mini, basically. It still feels British as well. By the way it sounds, it still sounds like a little British car. Yeah, it's a cool car. It also looks cool as well. I like the way that it's like, you've got the mirrors that are like circling and all that. It's pretty cool. All right, that's all on the Mini today. Thanks for watching this video about the Mini Com Cooper convertible. I would like to you guys to like and comment so I can do more reviews like this. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.